I'm just fine. How are you this afternoon? Great. Well, I'm trying to decide what this could be. It might be about fashion, it might be photography, or all that stuff. What's going on here? Well, mostly it, it is about fashion, I guess fashion photography. We have a collection of photography and sketches and also examples of clothing of a fashion designer who worked locally in Columbus. In He started in the late 50s and worked about 30 years until the mid-1980s. His name was H. Harold Kermode. He worked professionally as H. Harold, or he also called his designs the House of Harold. So you can kind of see H. Harold Kermode or, or House of Harold on, on some of his uh, business stationery and business cards. Over here, we have an example of one of his later designs. He went for very kind of higher end, very distinct looks. A lot of his clients would have been looking for special dresses for special events, for the holidays, definitely dressy clothing and distinct clothing. A lot of his pieces have multiple components. So there would be dresses and coats or dresses and capes. There'd be matching hats, matching scarves. He, he often made these multiple piece sets that you could wear all together or mix and match with other pieces. Um, this particular one is a later piece from the 1980s. There's a skirt that matches the jacket. The jacket had a belt. And then there's also this, this turban-like hat. And what's interesting is we noticed that there was this piece cut out of the hat and we were a little confused. But I actually, I found in the archival collections a picture of his wife who is modeling this suit. And it looks like there may have been some sort of jewel on her hat that is now cut off of that. I see, I see. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, so House of Harold, was that, uh, was it a big line or is he working primarily for people in Columbus? As far as I know, he was working primarily for, for people in Columbus. It wasn't actually his full-time job. Uh, he also worked at North American Aviation for a number of years. When I saw him listed in the city directories in the 50s and early 60s, it listed him as being employed at North American Aviation. And some of his sketches, you'll see, are on the back of these computer punch cards. So I think he might have gathered those up at work and brought them home to, to sketch on. Um, because we have the sketches and the photographs, I did some work trying to match up some of the sketches with some of the actual outfits. And you know, this one, you can see the pants and then the blouse with the bow. This is a pretty dramatic one. This is from the 70s and this is a polka dot kind of animal polka dot type print and it has a cape that oh, goes wow. with it. It's a jumpsuit mm -hmm. with a cape. It's it's a pretty dramatic, oh, yeah. pretty dramatic look. It was definitely people who were looking for clothing, you know, for special special occasions, pageants. He he did some he did some dresses for people who were in pageants. He did dresses and costumes for a lot of the local theater companies. And this is Harold, right? That is Harold himself, yes. That, that is definitely him. And his wife was in the one photograph, and this is his daughter here, Yes, right? he also did children's clothing, and again, the girls' dresses often had matching hats and coats as well. Of course, the thing about modeling the clothes is they didn't always, his wife and daughter didn't always get to keep them. They would model outfits, and sometimes then they would be sold, and they didn't get to keep the clothes that they, they wore in the pictures. I like this as sketches on graph paper, too. Maybe that's uh, something they used at, at Rockwell. Here he has his signature House of Herald paper to sketch on. Here he's got computer punch cards. Here he's got graph paper. His sketches always just tend to be, you know, kind of the, the bare outlines of, of the garment. And, you know, I mentioned he worked at North American mm -hmm. Rockwell. And he, this is a piece of a script from a fashion show. and. He was calling this the Jet Collection, and there was an outfit he called Blast Off, and then there was another outfit he called the Vigilante, and here is his wife with the different pieces and parts of the Vigilante outfit. So clearly his day job was with the aviation company, was influencing some of his designs. These are really fun items. Thanks for bringing this to our attention. You are very welcome.